Hey guys, this is Will from Loops and Worship, and I just want to show you really quickly how I'm using Ableton Live to automatically turn pages, uh, my sheet music, on my iPad. Um, sounds really, really cool, and it is very cool, but it's incredibly simple to do. I'm using an app called Scorcerer on the iPad. Uh, they have a free light version, which I think the limitation is uh, you can only do about, I think, 15 songs that you can load in there, um, but really easy, really cool to use. You can two-finger tap to annotate your score, uh, which is really nice. Two-finger tap to get back out of it. Really, really nice uh, app. They have a app for $10 that I think removes all the limitations. But the nice thing about this app, the way that I'm doing this, is it allows you to accept uh, MIDI program and CC and note data from any uh, DAW that you're using. So essentially what I've done is within Ableton Live, set up a couple clips, MIDI clips, Sorry for the impromptu nature of this video, but hopefully you can see most of everything. But I uh, set up some mini clips to automatically call up um, songs on my iPad and sections of my set list. So to show you how this works, what I'm going to actually do is go to my playlist here of songs, go to a different song, so you can see this is how this would work. And then over in Arrangement View, I've pu pulled up a loop that I have for Angels We've Heard on High. And if I zoom in here, at the very beginning, this clip is supposed to call up angels on the iPad when it gets there. Then later on in the song, my next page turn isn't uh, until this instrumental, so I have a MIDI clip here that's supposed to go to the next page. Let's see if we can let you guys see that a little blurry. And then eventually I have one, even though I don't need to do this, one that's going to go back to first page at this key change here. So you can see for the sake of uh, getting my page turn right, I went a little before uh, measure 49. Again, sorry for the blurriness, but it's very impromptu. Uh, but let me show you how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and press stop and get us caught up in arrangement view. And then when I press play, you'll hear the click start. And hopefully if everything goes to plan, you'll see angels we've heard on high pull up on the iPad. OK, so you saw that caught it up automatically. For the sake of time, I'm going to skip ahead in my arrangement. There you go. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And uh, I'm going to skip to later on the song. There we go. You see we have uh, a page turn coming up here, going to the next page. Let's see if it does it. Okay, there we go. It went a little early, and it hopped on to the next section there, which is really nice. Let it run for a little bit so you can see uh, everything's working. and obviously not touching it. And in a couple measures here, we have our next page turn coming up, which this one actually is supposed to go to our first page, which is a MIDI note. You see it crank back to the first page, there we go. That's all completely hands-free. Now this is in Arrangement View, this is laying them out um, kind of on a linear timeline that we work with in Arrangement View. I could also do this in Session View. You can see I have a row of clips here set up. I'm a little difficult to see, probably, Let's see if I can get closer. You probably can't see that little blurry. But I have a row of, there we go row of clips set up and it says sheet music song one through five over here in the right hand corner of my master track I've got my tempos assigned so this is just like we're setting up a set list in live and I'm gonna actually focus over here on the I iPad for you guys so you can see that there you go and as I launch each of these it's gonna call up those songs so there's uh, song one which I believe is angels song two is gonna call up a little drummer boy you can hear the tempo change here comes song three is here for you and song four here you go and song five so you can see each of those clips goes through uh, automatically and when we get to that song we change the tempo you can see the tempo is changing up there upper left hand corner and it's calling up that song on the iPad so it's incredibly incredibly easy to do we're basically using um, the built-in let's see if I can call it up here built-in uh, network MIDI options on Mac OS X. You can see my iPad, I'm connected to it there. Um, all this consisted of was making sure I'm on the right Wi-Fi network up here. You can see I am Linksys for both the iPad um, and enabling that and then creating some MIDI clips that send out the proper program change data. You can see song clip one is set to program seven to send that control program change. Program eight, nine, ten. So that just corresponds to the location in the set list on Scorcerer, and then as soon as I click that, you'll see it crank right over to our next song, which is really, really nice. 
Um, so yeah, that is using Ableton Live to control Scorserer for the iPad. If you have any questions, shoot me an email, will at loopsandworship.com. Check out our blog or website, www.loopsandworship.com for more info. Thanks for checking it out.